I want to introduce you to the revised student that we happen to be using for this set of notes. Now, by the way, you have access to this as you downloaded the items for our dynamic array class. Who dyslexia is killing me. But anyway, in student itself, there's really not a lot of changes to it, but there were some features that I added just frankly to make it easier for the code for this, this portion, really, more than anything else. But when I talk about complete class profile, I, I, I wasn't being hypocritical. It's in there. It's in the order that I prescribe. It's got the uh, overloaded equal sign, the overloaded C out. Um, where's the overloaded C out? Oh, there it is. Shoot, at the very top. So I'm going to screw that up. Our constructors, our copy constructor. I'm going to talk about the rule of three here in a little bit. That, again, if you've already done the complete class profile, you've been doing by default. And I'll explain that here a little bit more. The only other items that I've really changed was the integers. I made unsigned integers for the different tests. I added a first name and a last name. I used getters and setters for that as well. The only other big item that I really add to this, and I did this one on purpose, was creating something that's going to use a pointer. Remember that when we're using a pointer, that means that we need to go ahead and dereference it, make it set to null pointer, all of that stuff to so that there isn't a memory leak. We've talked about that in pointers and dynamic arrays earlier. Here I'm forced to do that. So when this particular student loses scope, we have to go to the destructor and make sure that all that work is done. So you're going to see a new addition to this, and this is absences. This is going to be an array using pointers. It's going to also be a heap array. So you know what all that means, new, and then we got to delete it and everything else like that. We're going to use all that because I wanted to make sure we're using the copy constructor correctly, that if we're having to copy two students, they have two individual values, even though they look the same, but they're distinct, using a deep copy. But also, frankly, that we got to handle it at the very end. So I'm going to try to scroll down here to both the constructors and the default constructor. There it is. So look at the default constructor there at the very bottom. And here I'm taking care of my absences, make sure that everything's tidied up, meted up, and then gone from there. So with that said, that is our introduction to student. Absences, just for a general, uh, just a little bit more of a description. I made an array of that for particular, I think I put eight days for the examples that I'm about to show you down at the bottom. And then we're going to hold individual dates that the student happened to be absent. So that's why it is going to be a heap array of strings. And by the way, here's us actually finishing out the heap portion of it, setting a default size to it. Yeah, I'll leave it at that for now. So that is our updated or revised student class that we're going to use throughout the rest of this set of notes.